Okay, hello, Mount of the time. We're in the end game now. Only one more after the pairing. Um, hoo -hoo. Uh, uh, Mount Murphy dying in the end game. Okay, with that all said, the first from today's pairing is Escape. Bag it, just Escape. Um, written by Scott Pinkins. Um, um, the cabinets disappeared a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Dakota and Doof have noticed it and are wondering what to do and how to find them. So they basically uh, loaf around until they figure out what to do until they figured to like create from DNA a clone of him back in a you know, direction and that clone like a pop of body we go do which murk can do which murk. And meanwhile, Milo, Lydia, and the coach, and got me underground, end up trapped in an elevator in the mall for a bit. This one's pretty good, mostly for the Milo stuff. The Dakota do stuff, it's okay, but basically not much. What happened? Well, one, they both came out just going waffling around, not getting much accomplished until the end, where they find out what happened to them a few years ago. Uh, but that's a cool cliffhanger that I already, already tell them that they will pick right back up from that. So, you know, but not much really happened with them. It could just end. do get from a better joke. But there's a few more of the messing up stuff. There's like a type of hybrid cabinet. It's just really funny. Remember Dan, like, I can't remember, it might before the 2 began. He put a picture showing him with the hybrid. And then it was. It was gonna be funnier out of context. Um, but it's still funny here. Um, yeah, what's tough here with the muking? It's not too annoying, but at the same time, nothing like. Yeah, but, you know, it's mostly for a take of the AKA, the, that part of the plot again to get them to find out what's happening with them. But having, like, really not much bad thing happen, because you probably could have, like, started with. That them could, could, could start with that one, could start with them thinking, oh, how are even they bump into a UFO. Because, at that way, yeah, it's a guy he had, um, you know, trapped in a UFO. The UFO that all we ever knew about, like, oh, cameras, we knew that cameras knew about it, and I guess, they, whatever. Either way, um, the mod stuff is really funny, though. We get from funny, I'm um, trapped in a, you know, type thing, sort of stuff. Uh, Lydia probably in Pop Black goes to you get a good chance to do some improv stuff. Uh, I think she's a non character. She was a background character at this point. But they kept giving personality, and I thought that she was pretty charming. Go so that, and we get some fun stuff with Scott the Young Man and the coach. And I thought that stuff was actually, that should have been the main plot, honestly. Ron Kemp could call it Gabe. If it's about this plot, I guess, but the main story of Go, yeah, pretty, pretty good. But again, pretty funny, pretty good stuff. I think most of that good stuff works. But the pot is fine, but they can really be there for the take of a cliffhanger. But overall, it's a pretty good one. Okay for the mild stuff. At least we get dedicated uh, mild stuff. And there's some good gag, when we left gun gag, like, they're far away, so we can't hear or really tell what's going on. Because we're just making a guess based on what they can see. And I thought that was funny. Overall, kind of weak up plot, but it gets the job done, and main plot's pretty funny. So, yeah, escape an enjoyable episode. Go so, with me, where that cliffhanger takes us in a second. Okay, now for Milo and Faith, written by Scott Peterson and Joshua Truett. Um, coming up for left episode, aliens show up and abduct Milo, and then um, Monk of Raw, the hope to for the fairy thief, while the other that will look them, whatever. Go off to uh, in a ship or around. Uh, well, I go around the ship that I'm off around to rescue him. Uh, this one's pretty good, but it's another one that mostly gets the get up the next one. Come on, to get back to you get some bunch of jokes with them, trink them in their ship and really try to find Rescue Milo and joke with Milo with the alien. Like, I'm trying to keep on rap, Murphy's Law happening. You know, but it was entertaining. Like, a nice, there's some good jokes. I, I like got one night for alien that's trying to make Milo comfortable, but fail at it. That kind of fun. Um, yeah, and they're and they do barely anything. Yeah, like I evoke even for the bear. 
like boost or not, but he didn't contribute too much and he wasn't too annoying. Got rid of some good plastic stuff. It was a fifth floor, well, fun to honestly better balance and entertainment than we ever looked so recently. Um, the fight is fact that not much really happened up until the end, where we actually find out why Vivian the Monica bad. Turned out a different from what we'll be probably expecting. And a crook of cliffhanger with a to be continued. So, but not a lot to say to this one, but I liked it more than the other one because I found better balance. But I thought the best material came from the Lydia stuff in the other one. But this was better balance, I think. Both of the Gepcos are entertaining, but it gets the cap the next one, and what that them got is this will be in Kyle off the lead. I guess the difference between the story and stuff between two and he one. He won most of that stuff before that side of thing, because most of the episode can stand on their own, you know, even if they mostly get the cap things later. Both of them, this one, the two don't follow game, but there are episodes like the fan gets to cap that one. But are all right, but we'll so little happen to them that they're more like useless what we get to the conclusion. You know, I find that's one. That's one stuff I feel like took over a little too. I feel like, well, like, you know, but they don't interfere too much with the main episode, but game time. But game time came when you get the game at it, just that stuff was smaller. Less big, we burned up things we didn't know, we had playing TV too big till the end. So it go not too much going on happening in an episode. Didn't matter much because we didn't know what they were building up to. But here we got alien and just all that stuff. Go, so, but now uh, go. I guess you train two different things in that regard, but I do kind of. Yeah. You know, oh well. But now, well, I don't want to harp on too too much because I don't even harp on the story telling because I think that stuff is actually fine. But get some like this on. But still fun pair up because um more entertaining than some of the other but some annoying do stuff. I'll pop from next week I'll probably enter just that black thing into a call just let a lot of that out then. Cause my relationship between two been pretty complicated, but I like it more than some people. I think it's just it. No. I'll say it for next week. Which is fear and loathing and outer space. Go. Yay. Um Yo, know, when I call you guys face me, I hope that I mean do it for Don the way to home planet <laughs> to continue with Poochie theme. But fun stuff. See you next week for the conclusion of King and Two and the King in general. Love the show currently you know, next week next week I'll talk about. What well, Pockability King and Free have you about it, have you got the King and go off to you next week for that.